The PCT sample preparation system brings a level of quality, accuracy, and safety to the extraction of nucleic acids, proteins, and small molecules that has never before been achievable. Whether your sample is animal, plant, microbe, or human cell or tissue, the versatility, speed, reproducibility, and control of the PCT system far exceeds other current extraction methods, such as bead beaters, sonicators, homogenizers, and mortar and pestle grinding. The PCT sample preparation system is comprised of two primary components, a barocycler instrument and single-use processing containers called pulse tubes. The barocycler generates pressures from ambient to 35,000 PSI and back to ambient in just a matter of seconds. Pressure levels, pressure times, and cycle numbers are controlled by a microprocessor. The barocycler reaction chamber can be temperature controlled and the unique design of the PCT system reduces cross-contamination and risk of exposure to the user. Discovery starts with sample preparation, and in particular, with the PCT sample preparation system. Today, I need to lice this tick in order to look for the DNA of the bacterium that causes Lyme disease. Since I only have one sample to prepare, I'll be using the Barocycler NEP2320. However, on days when I'm processing multiple samples, I would use the NEP3229, which can process up to three samples at a time. Using the PCT sample preparation system is simple and convenient. First, place the tick into the sample chamber of the pulse tube. Then, set the movable RAM. Add the processing buffer to the pulse tube's fluid retention chamber, then close the tube. Next, place the pulse tube into the reaction chamber of the barocycler, submerging it in the chamber fluid, which is distilled water. The reaction chamber cap is inserted and locked into place before I close the safety door. I then set the pressure level I want to reach. The time required at high and ambient pressures and the number of pressure cycles. Press Run to begin the processing. Alternatively, I can choose one of many pre-programmed protocols. During the PCT process, which generally takes a couple of minutes, tick and, if present, bacterial DNA are safely and effectively extracted. When pressure is applied to the barocycler chamber fluid, it causes the ram to move, pushing the tick from the sample chamber through small holes in the lysis disc and into the fluid retention chamber of the pulse tube, rapidly mixing with the added processing buffers. When pressure is released, the partially lysed tick is pulled back through the lysis disc and into the sample chamber. With each subsequent pressure cycle, this process is repeated. The combination of physical passage through the lysis disc, rapid pressure changes, and other biophysical mechanisms exerted during the PCT process breaks up the cells and tissues of the tick, as well as other organisms in the sample, such as the bacterium that causes Lyme disease, to quickly and effectively release nucleic acids and proteins. When the PCT process is finished, I remove the pulse tube from the barocycler reaction chamber. Remove the supernatant that contains the extracted biomolecules with a pipette and then prepare to begin my downstream testing. Tomorrow I'll be extracting DNA, RNA, proteins and small molecules from 50 mouse tissues, so I plan on using the barocycler NEP3229. For more information about the PCT sample preparation system, please visit www.pressurebiosciences.com.